Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to People Playground. Our friend Kevin is with us today. Robot Kevin. Robot Kevin says hi. He's so excited that you're here with us. Look at him, he's raising his hands. He's super strong. He's super strong. The one problem though, is Kevin has a self-destruct mechanism. You might not see it. You might not see it. But if you like this video, then Kevin won't release this nuke upon humanity. Oh, <laughs> Kevin, stand up. You're making us look bad right now. Stand oh, no, no. That oh, we just fixed him to the wall. Oh, no. Kevin has been angered. He has been angered. He is so strong and mighty. And he says that not every one of you have liked and subscribed to this video. Oh, no. What are you ever going to do? Maybe today's sponsor will help him pacify his anger. And today's sponsor is a game called Broken Lines, and it's developed by port play Now, you might be wondering what kind of game this is. Well, it's a game that is a tactical RPG set in a wartime environment. And if you have been following my channel for a long time, you know I've played a lot of strategy and RPG games. I've had a lot of fun playing them, and I do play a lot on my side on my own free time, too. This one is one that I've really been enjoying playing. The game takes place in an alternative World War II with a unique storyline that actually has multiple different endings, so there's different ways to play the game. It is a tactical RPG with squad management. You want to resolve your internal conflicts and keep everybody alive because there is permadeath. So if you get attached to one of your guys, probably named Kevin, he can die, and then you'll have to name somebody else Kevin. Uh, there's destructible cover and realistic gun physics, so you want to move in and out of battle, avoiding your enemies and trying to defeat them without dying on your own. There's also a stress system, so you can stress out people when they're in cover, random different map encounters, and when you complete a map, there is the camp management, so you want to go in and take care of the different dialogues, supply up your units, and pick the best soldiers for your next battle. So make sure you click on that link in the video description to pick up this game on Steam. It is a great one. I would personally recommend it, and not just because this video is sponsored. I've been having a ton of fun playing it. So let's go ahead and figure out what Kevin has decided to do. Oh no, he's got a super angry mad face. <laughs> I don't think his anger has been pacified because you guys didn't like the video. Actually, you probably did, and I appreciate it. But, I mean, it's Kevin, he likes to blow up, so... <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at his crazy eyes. He actually survived. Look how far he got launched. This is a large map. <laughs> Kevin nuked us. Yay, Kevin. Oh, he turned into a box of SpaghettiOs. Not really. Uh, pretzels, Pringles? Yeah, Pringles, he's all squashed together. That was fun. Do you think it's physically possible to nuke Kevin good enough that he gets nuked? Oh, whoa, <laughs> yay. And, uh oh, ready? And we're gonna do a couple around here. And activate, oh, <laughs> look at those shockwaves. Oh, that was cool. Kevin, the indestructible Robo Kevin. Uh, his eyes are causing a little trouble right now though. He's gonna fall through the map, maybe. Wow, the shockwaves knocked him over that way. That's kind of cool, here. Let's make his eyes disabled collision. Now, he's back to normal. <laughs> that was really cool. This guy's indestructible. And smash. Wow. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, for science purposes, we need to try. I know I know the nuke is like so much bigger than Kevin. Regular Kevin. Oh no, he's bleeding on it. That's okay. It won't matter too much longer, buddy. And we'll resize and we'll go boop. And little Kevin's gonna have heartburn too. It's gonna be so cute. What is that? What is that nuke doing? All right. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, nuke? What are you doing? Would you not do this right now? He needs. Kevin needs a little nuke backpack. Here we go. And right like that. <laughs> Ready? And walk. Dun, dun, dun. He's having a hard time walking. I need to make this uh, weightless. Here we go. Good Kevin. Where are you going, Kevin? Why do you want to why do you want to take your little bomb nuke somewhere? Maybe oh, who's this? Who's this? Is this a base that you want to assault? What does that say? Boss's bedroom keep out, I think. We need to flip that. Yeah, flip it. Oh. <laughs> this guy's like, you Okay, I'll just let you in. I'll just You are allowed to come inside. I will lay down and then crawl under here. So Kevin can make it inside. Yeah, that worked. Nope, 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 Oop, nope, nope, got it. Okay, no, Kevin, oh, you're walking the wrong way, my buddy. There you go. Look, he's doing the moonwalk. Here we go. Right into the bandit office. Nobody knows, nobody knows. Ooh. Da -da 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 -da. Whoopsies. Oh no, they're bleeding. Now what does this say? Uh, One, take over the world. Two, uh, shape. It's in our image three have a holiday. I think, <laughs> I can't really read Spanish backwards. Okay, ready? And then go down 
And ooh, he's making it. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Oh, that's a cool ladder. It's made out of wooden things. You ready? Kevin's gonna do the world justice. Oh, no. No, no. Don't fall over right now, dude. Don't. Come on. We gotta take out the leader. <laughs> Look at this moonwalk. He's like, I'm just gonna jump on everyone's heads as they fall over. And we are we are reporting for the meeting, sir. We are reporting. Oh, <laughs> the guy's head exploded. Okay, ready? And we're gonna, where's the thing that makes him not walk anymore? Clear animation, there we go. And, and stand up. And fall over. You dummy. Oh, his leg fell off. Are you alive even? Double agent Kevin has seen better days. And <laughs> there he goes. He's missing a foot. An arm disappeared. But he is reporting for duty, sir. And by duty, means he's a double agent where he gets to nuke the entire thing. Whoa! <laughs> they instantly got vaporized by the nuke. Are we ready for this? I'm going to undo it. And oh, yes. That was so cool. That was awesome. Wow, Double Agent Kevin, you're the man. I wonder which one's Kevin. Oh, it's this one, because I still have him. Nice. All right, it's time for some more fun. Now, I do really like the contraptions that are tanks. And I think we have a new, what is the word? Contender for best tank ever in this game. Look at this thing. It is amazing. It drives amazingly well, too. Look at that. Oh, the propagation wires just turned everything on. We have a little engine in here, and this thing is rock solid. Like the perfect, perfect tank. Even, watch this too. If we put down somebody in front of it, it's actually pretty amazing. Oh my word. And if we put down a bunch of somebody's in front of it, there's no stopping this tank. I don't even think Secret Agent Kevin can take care of it. Uh oh. Look at that. Just drives all over. Oh no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Somebody's getting pulled inside. Oh, and it doesn't stop it or derail it. That is so cool. I mean, it's so gross. Why would anyone ever make something this dis destructive? Oh, look at listen to the sounds, too. <laughs> oh, it just destroyed him. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, look, his arms went around again. I really don't even know, like, how you would destroy this thing. I mean, you could maybe do, like, a turret versus it. The turret should kind of work. As soon as it sees something else. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't even get eyes on it. Wow, and you can't clog it up. Uh-oh. I think, uh, I think it's tank so powerful that it, that it kind of crash, kind of crashes the game a little bit. I think we figured out how to beat the tank. <laughs> well, you know, there is one way to destroy a tank. It's with Star Wars technology. The AT, AT. Look at this thing. Ready? And get, the oh, yes, you rebel. Oh, whoa. What kind of a blaster bolt starts their head on fire? Wow! Oh, I wanted you to do it again. Well, we'll do it to this one. Ready? Yep! Ha ha ha! Jumped out of the way! Oh no! He's lit on fire! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that is so cool! I want to do it again! <laughs> what? Okay, how do we make this thing drive? Uh, is there any propagation? No, there's no wires going anywhere. Just the blaster. That's like a blaster with a sensor. Okay, we got some stormtroopers inside with music music boxes here okay let's try to turn this thing on it looks pretty stable and if I just turn on it you have to turn this part on okay we got one uh oh where's the uh oh okay we got another one on those are going we got that one and that one there we go <laughs> a t a t oh he's destroying all the the rebels the rebel scum <laughs> um wow it's actually more stable than I thought it would be yes <laughs> okay we should put it towards that big tank Where's Tanky Bro at? Who's gonna win? Star Wars or a gigantic Tanky Bot? And activate. There we go. This is so stupidly laggy. That's because they're trying to get all over these bodies. Oh, he's stuck! We found a way to stop a, a stormtrooper. There we go. Just gotta delete the bodies. There it is! <laughs> Yay! Oh boy. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Oh boy. Ready? Aim? Attack! Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh. I think, uh... I think we're doing really, really good today. <laughs> Thanks, People Playground. Oh! You know what is really funny with this dumb thing? If you only turn on, like, half of the wheels... Watch. <laughs> it gets really, really derpy. <laughs> it looks fine right now, right? It looks real good. Except for this guy. Classic stormtroopers just sleeping on the job. 
Why are you dead? Why do you have to not be alive right now? That's that solves it. You need to turn into a zombie and zombified. Zomb Why are you on your legs? No, dude, right, right, right in the butt. There, yeah, perfect. That's how you get zombie. If you didn't know that before. Oh no! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Why are you? What are you doing? Oh, zombie's head fell off. Whoop! Oh, Whoop! Oh. <laughs> well, that's a stormtrooper. AT AT. Oh, it's gonna work better. Now it's anti-aircraft. Anti. -aircraft. anti anti Kevin crap oh you missed it's typical stormtroopers oh whoa hey that was cool now for our next bit of stupidity we have to find the ocean uh-huh you ready for this now I thought the dinosaur from like two episodes ago I thought he'll float I wanted to see if we have a floating Leviathan he does does he does he go in the water I wonder if the tires make him drive ah oh, that'd be so cool if we had like a little dolphin go or, 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 or. But no, he's just a, whoop, he's a land dinosaur, a landosaurus. He can fly pretty well. He can fly a lot better than he can swim. Oh no, what's he doing? And wow, he made it, he's a flying dolphin. Nice, wow. Uh oh, what's it doing? He made it. But there is this thing called life pod. I don't know what it does, but I wanted to look at it. It's supposed to be like a floating submarine. So let's follow it and see what happens. Ready? That was not a very good, fl oh, oh. Hey, it works. It is a life pod. It's kind of cool. So the question is, how many anchors will sink the life pod? Uh, oh, one? I think we need a second one. Oh, it's stable. We need a second one. And probably a third one just for good measure. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye, Kevin. We made a submarine without any air. I wish you could actually make an air pocket. That'd be kind of cool. It's not sinking very fast. We must increase our sinking technology, which is just wait, if you didn't know how things sink. I think I found a way to make this work. There we go. Yes, <laughs> it sinks faster. Oh no, it's not sinking. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, that's so neat. I didn't know they floated like that. You deserve life. Oh, I missed. And no, 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 get back here, get back here. And you deserve life. Yeah, I, I hit him. Oh, why? Wow, syringes don't like being underwater. Oh, it's damn it. Oh, Kevin. I'm so sorry. What is going on here? What? Ha Why is it so leggy? We'll just do it like that. No, it still doesn't work. Wow. This game does not like water. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. What happened? Wait, the submarine disappeared. Where'd the submarine go? I also found a plant. Ah, uh, that was on the Steam Workshop. We need to make it. Can we make it destructive? Can I make it deadly? Can I make this plant destroy things I want to what can I use I was thinking lasers but plants with lasers doesn't make any sense how about a large berry yeah <laughs> we need a berry on it uh resize just do a little bit of that a little bit of that uh oh look it's growing little green tomatoes aren't they cute oh I just want to pet it can I we need we need something in here let's propagate to here that's the wrong way let's propagate this way uh-huh and then that way yeah how do I make it, how do I make it deadly? We'll just make a little eeny beeny teeny tiny life detector. We'll put that up here. Oh, that's perfect. It's camouflage aid. Nobody will ever know. I like how the life detector is larger than that. You know what, let's just fix it. There we go, look. <laughs> Yay, beautiful. We're gonna have to put some propagation wires in here too. Uh-huh, just like that. There, it doesn't really look like a plant right now, but Kevin's gonna test it out. Let's see, Kevin. Would you like to go see your new plant friend? Oh, he would. He likes plants. Plants are his favorite. Uh-huh. It's like, oh boy, a new plant. Oh, it's got tomatoes on it. This is so tasty. I love tomatoes. <laughs> got him. I would not recommend using those in war. <laughs> they, don't, they don't work too good. And look, the plant's still alive. Oh, that's awesome. The wires are all gone, and that thing's fried a little bit. Kevin's gone too. I guess he got his fill. He's not hungry anymore. Yeah, I think that one might have vaporized his bones. I don't see any bones anywhere. There is a way. If you go like this and then click follow, you can zoom in and find a bone. <laughs> There's literally nothing. Upper arm. I don't see one. <laughs> well, that was fine. There's also this thing on the Steam Workshop. I don't like this one. I really don't. If you guys know which, which culture was it? Roman or something? They had something called the Brazen Bull, which was a torture device. You know what? Here, let's just do this the right way this time. Yeah. You can resize it, make it longer. See? 
like that. And then you can put that back on top. And now, see how that works? So yeah, you put a you put a person in there, and then you lock them in, and then you start a fire underneath of them. And as they screamed, that it would sound like a bull going something like that. So yeah, this thing is like one of the the things that actually existed back in history. Yeah, um, I don't remember the full story on it, but basically the person who made the bull was the first one to test it out. Yeah, they, they threw him inside. It was some like crazy Caesar made the dude go in there. Really, really not a cool thing. But yep, yeah, other ways to die. I think this one would be a really, really, really bad way. Probably wouldn't be very much fun to be roasted alive inside of a, a super hot furnace thing like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would be too much fun at all, ever. So here we go again. Secret Agent Kevin has a mission upon us. He has heard rumors that there is something very, very interesting hidden deep within the walls of this police station. Some of his friends have been locked up, but an alien is in here as well. Now, this is some SCP that I don't really understand, but it was on the Steam Workshop, and I thought it looked cool, and it's made out of bowling pins. So I guess if you're an alien made out of bowling pins, that, that makes you a target to... Uh-oh. Uh well, um, that happened. Oh, I just, I totally messed it up now. That's a weird alien. Uh, you are gone. Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, SCP-173. Whatever that means. Oh, damn, don't tip over. All right, so SCP-173 is really strange. You have to keep eye contact with it at all times. I don't know why. <laughs> but class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. Yeah, SCP is a really interesting backstory. It's, it's weird. I've never really gotten into it, but feel like I should because it's such a cool history or cool what is the word not history universe there it is found it all right so Kevin we must go destroy SCP-173 it is your job to advance and get your friends out probably go into the armory here because it looks like there's some cool stuff hidden in that thing so we need to go we need to go Kevin is this door to open I don't know let's go you're gonna just walk over there open sesame Kevin Kevin not already did you seriously die you knocked yourself- how did you knock yourself out? How did you knock yourself out already? Oh, really? Can, just, can we just sit you down? Can we just sit you down right here? Oh, Kevin's head just fell off. I was gonna give him a break. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Kevin, where's your- what are you doing? Why have you done this to me already, my dude? Where'd it go? Hello, yes. I would like to come inside the police department. Pop, 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 pop. We have opened the door. I broke windows. We're oh! Oh no! We killed Colonel Sanders. Colonel Satinel's office. Oh, whoa. Hey, look. <laughs> that was kind of cool. <laughs> that was neat. Well, we got one done. Um, let's just, we're just gonna have to blast our way in through the wall. We'll pretend a grenade went through there. Yes, got it, huh? And we're gonna, we're gonna fly this way. Come on, buddy. Oh, not again. Why does this always happen to Kevin? I feel like a regular guy with a gun is gonna be better than Super Kevin. Oh yeah, this will totally work better. It'll totally work better. Activate inside the commander's office. Just gonna hide the body back over here in the, in the filing cabinets. That way no one will know. Yeah, just right inside. There you go. Good job, good job. Yep, nobody knows. What is this? Oh, oh, it turned it on. Police department records, <gasps> windows. Oh, nice. We can steal all the documents. Good job, Kevin. We'll figure out what SCP is all about up there. He's a secret agent. He didn't even know that there were secret things in here. Well done, my friend. Now it's time to climb the stairs. It's gonna be this is gonna be awkward because this guy over here. There you go. Just jump. Oh, whoa. Oh. It's got a giant spear. Yeah, right like that. It's gonna hurt Kevin. Oh, he's ready to throw it. He's ready to throw it. Can Kevin dodge the spear attack? Oh no! <laughs> the guy just took his own head off. Oh, he did jump over it. That was pretty cool. Da, 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 da. Nice. Oh no! We have another secret agent coming through the door. Quick fire! Oh, it missed! It missed! He attacked! He pushed Kevin down the stairs! They're fighting! They're fighting! Quick, shoot him again! It's got him! Oh, that's the sword! Oh, right in the head! Oh, I thought for sure Kevin was gone this time. Oh, nice work! Dodge that knife. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. There we go. Get up. We got plants for days. These aren't the nuclear plants. He did a complete flip. That was actually really cool. Land it. Land it. Well done. What's in this room? The interrogation chamber. 
Oh no, we can't let him live. Look, an actual clock. Wow, does it work? It's, it's three, seven o'clock. Wait, I feel like this should work. Interrogate suspects normally. Use force only if suspect don't want saying important information. I feel like the interrogation's going wrong. He's about to attack. Oh, oh wait, get, stand up. Yeah, stand up, policeman. Uh, coming over. He's ready to smack him. And, <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> that was a good one. Kevin, you're too late. You need to get over here, my dude. You keep doing flips and junk. Wow, that was really good flying. Oh, there we go. Oh, Kevin, we need to make you superhuman. Ultra strength. The only way that you can survive against SCP. Oh no, he's gonna die. Activate, there we go, super strength. I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna make it. He's super strong. We're good to go. Is this, can he go in the door? He can. Quick, take out the interrogator. Go, 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 go. Nice. We had to destroy the witness too. That worked really well. And that was easy. Easy peasy, because he was laying on the table taking a nap. Climbing the stairs again. We have one more cop to go. One more secret agent. He doesn't even know. As soon as we open this door, we'll open fire. Ka -ka 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 -ka. Nice. There will be no witnesses. We must free the men from the prison. We will do it. Open the gate. We have done it. Now these guys must go get their armor. I actually want to see what's in here. Like breaking roleplay for a second. We're just going to open this up and see what kind of weapons we have inside. Oh, a shotgun? <gasps> this looks good. It's like a couple of assault rifles, pistols, this thing. <gasps> the stun gun. We need that. We need the stun gun. Come on, agents. Let's go get you some weapons. Oh, no. Oh, that's the wrong idea. He attacked. <laughs> Does this have collision? Note to self, do not run into the wall with our secret agent. Into the armory. He's so excited. <laughs> Stop jumping. Ah. Uh... That's going to leave a mark. We're down to one agent remaining. SCP-173 is destroying everyone with his eye contact or something. You must have the shotgun of, of justice. Grab it. We've got it. Move back up. Kevin, I need you to move back down, my dude. Need you to move back down to the office. Oh, no, you can take the floor with. I don't, re I don't really mind. You can just, here you go. We need you to open up the doors to SCP's chamber before we take him out. I don't know how to do this the best. He's gonna wanna come and get us. Maybe some grenades will work. So quick, Kevin, open door one. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Oh, it's working. The door's opening. Quick, chuck a grenade inside. Pew. There it goes. And activate the grenade. Oh, that might actually work. Landed at his feet. We don't have eye contact yet. He'll be okay. Um, is that gonna blow up? Yes. Oh, he's still alive. Do another grenade. Oh, he fell over though. Another one. Oh, click it. <laughs> and oh, blast it. <laughs> That's fun. And pow. Oh, you shot yourself in the old foot. That was dumb. Why would you ever do that? And pow. There you go. <laughs> he won't die. Quick. Open the next door. Open the next door. Next door is open. He can come out and scream. I don't know what noises they make. Squish, 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 squish. Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> he's free. I feel like I should do like special effects of the screen shaking and just like screaming noises and it going all weird. Did that work? Was that pretty neat? I don't know. We have a slight problem. <laughs> we have a real slight problem. SCP has escaped. He's coming down. He's gonna destroy humanity. But wait, there must be one way to stop him. It's the nuke plant. And activate! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Uh, we nuked him. Okay! So if you did like this video of People Per Ground, make sure you take Kevin's advice and go download Broken Lines down below using the link in the video description. We'll see you next time. Bye!